Hello everyone, my name is Polish Links and welcome to Gakuen Redux. Another game by ATP Projects. You know that's suspicious that the program I used to cho choose the game lately managed to choose games from that studio. But I won't complain. Let's do this. Uh, start from beginning. Open your eyes. I felt a soft coldness strike my legs. There was darkness around me. I was in a peaceful, delirious state. My calm mind was slowly beginning to work. I was beginning to regain my consciousness. I now knew I was waking up. A quick assessment let me suggest that I slept well. Yet, something strange bothered me. This cold feeling. I knew that feeling, but it must have been ages since the last time I experienced such a feeling. It was the most beautiful way to wake up. But how? My eyes were still closed. I smelled my pillow. The strange scent, yet not unfamiliar. It was as if I moved my head slowly to feel the pillow. It was unusually soft. This was just like... Then, the horrible shock seized me. I felt like hectoliters of oxygenated blood rushed into my head. An unbearable pain seized my head. The next millisecond, millisecond my mind was fully awakened. My heart was pounding like it was wanted to give me a heart attack. My body felt so weak, I felt like after an exhausting run, my hands and legs would be shaking if I were not grounded by the bed. Then I dared to open my eyes. The horror that surrounded me cannot be expressed. I could swear that was the last second of my life. I felt like I have to die any moment because the unbearable truth would stress my body to its critical point. In a split second I quickly shook my head while closing my eyes, my eyes and gasped for breath. This always woke me up from a dream I did not want. Nothing. I knew it by then. My head was in a great pain. I was afraid I might die any second. I by then roughly knew what was the situation, but my greatest concern was still in my head. I was afraid that I could die. I tried to calm down, ease my brain off a little, if there is such a possibility at all. In a few moments I managed to ease off and I knew I was going to be alright. What now? What now? I was always good at acting and managing not to show my emotions when I needed, but this could be catastrophic. I had to be alright, I had to convince. My brain was doing millions of calculations right now. I breathed heavily and tried not to panic. The most viable way for me would be sickness. But how? Feeling bad that was the best I could come up right now. I, it did not matter that much. I had to convince. Convince. It was absolutely incomprehensible to me. I was in the situation and the first thing that should have come into my mind and that actually was on my mind was pushed back by the need to survive. I had to survive this situation. When my father came back to my room to check on me I made the most convincing of fake stomach aches and strange feelings. I even tried to use the shock I still was in to support, su to support my fake sickness. My father was concerned. I got out of the bed, told him that there is something wrong and that I have a stomach ache. I walked to the toilet, greeting my mother faintly on my way. I told her that I should be alright through the closed toilet door, yet I tried to do so in a very concerned, arousing voice. I made sounds of throwing up very briefly. I almost needed not to fake. 
My stomach was empty, however that did not stop it from also reacting to this situation. I flushed the toilet and went to wash my head. Uh, hands, 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 and cleaned my face. I didn't dare to look around. All it happened, almost automatically. When my mother saw me, I explained I threw up a little. I asked for a cup of herbal tea and tried to look sick, but not faking. In any case, I had to, to look pale. I was surely white as paper. Eventually my father suggested I stay home for the day and not go to school. Mother took some dietary bread from the cupboard and gave it to me. I told them I would take care of it, I wanted it to look only like minor stomach problems. My parents gladly gave me the day off, because I was not one of those who would fake sicknesses and they knew that I would never do such a thing. They believed me. They did not even ask if there was a test today. They left regularly earlier than me and were already set to go. We hugged and kissed before they went away. It was not common for a boy of my age to kiss his parents. Most, if not all of them, had already given up that. They felt embarrassed. I knew we hugged and kissed. I had made the right thing. I just caught a glimpse of the whole situation around me and was able to pinpoint it. I may have been lucky with that. But those thoughts were swept away the second my parents shut the door. I felt my weakness came back. I have done it. I have survived. Now all the horror came back. I was successful in not thinking about my situation during the phase I had to survive before I now was alone. But now it all came back. I knew where I was. Yeah, I was finding my way. I thought now I would break down, that the situation would arise that I wanted to avoid happening before the eyes of my parents. Although the terrible knowledge of my situation was present and heavily upon me, I did not suffer as much as I prepared for. That was good. The day, the day I went to the kitchen, noticing my legs were incredibly weak and look at the calendar my mother shifted every morning. It was only now that the full extent of the horror around me came back, again. The 7th of September, Monday, year... I have no idea what year that is. I... Uh, that's why you should learn all, all the freaking Roman signs. Mm, Google. X Y Y M year search uh, I think it's that Rome signs. Numbers Roman numerals. Let's see. Uh, all right, okay. X stands for ten. That's known, but the rest. Well, no, 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 no. All right, M stands for thousand. Y stands for freaking nothing. All right, I don't know what this means. Uh, let's move on. Uh, I started to realize my situation more and more clearly. With every new confirmation of my status, the reality helped me more and more. It was only getting clearer. I ran, then I rushed into the bathroom. I was eager to see it. I was not afraid, I wanted to see myself. I stormed into the bathroom and looked into the mirror. A familiar face. That was me. I could not believe my eyes. I did not feel young like that. But the mirror proved everything. I was back some 12 or 13 years at the beginning of my second class in high school. I was probably 15 or 16. However, inside that boy was I. 
a personality that developed from that boy after more than 10 years. Huh? I was put back all the time to wake up in the body of my younger self. Interesting. How long has it been? I would think at least one year. Or maybe more. Almost every day when I returned home for my daily work, I was fantasizing about going back to my days at high school. Those four years were the most beautiful experience in my life, and night after night I recalled situations I experienced and imagined what I would do differently, how to react in situations that occurred. I was not unhappy with the way things worked out at high school, but sometimes when I passed by our old school, the memories came back to me so strong that I found myself remembering how it all was, and I envied the boys and girls I saw so much. I wanted to be there too. Did they appreciate what they had? I don't think so. But I most certainly would. I would soak up the atmosphere. I would enjoy every second. Why did I not do it back then? I think I did not realize what I had. At the time my present life was going the usual direction. I had everything I needed. I lived alone in my own apartment in a residential area, a little off the city center. I was almost 28. I had a very quiet life. Most of my free time I was home by myself, lately exercising my favorite pastime, thinking what it would be like to go back. There were so many things. If I just could be there one more time. I dreamed of this every single day. It called me down and refreshed my mind. After some time, I thought of so many alternatives that the whole complex seemed more and more beautiful. There were so many opportunities, so many things could have happened. It was almost inexhaustible, all the thoughts. And every time I passed our old school, the feelings were stronger and stronger. About two, hour, two, two hours. About two years ago, I broke up with my girlfriend, Hikaru. She was a wonderful person, but there was a problem with me. I wanted to be alone that time. It was of course selfish, but that was what I wanted. Why? Still, I did not feel better when she was gone. I just felt differently. In a way, I felt free, I guess. And I was unusually calm and indifferent when I was alone. Hikaru. She was my second relationship. Akane, my first girlfriend, was also a beautiful and loving person. She's better, I think. It was the same as with Hikaru. Was it my fault? Again. Thinking back, Hikaru, maybe, maybe that love was even stronger. I think I loved Hikaru. But to tell the truth, I think both Akane and Hikaru are... I think I loved both Akane and Hikaru as strong as I could at that time. I think I could have made it work with either of them. Just thinking about it always made tears come to my eyes. I organized my life a bit and enjoyed the monotonous flow of days and months. Months passed by me, passed me by. Ah. My daily routine was quite trivial and I was just existing beside my work. Although I had many friends, I seldom went out. I did not feel the need to have a more rich and full life. Although my parents, wonderful people, and my only family sometimes mentioned my strange attitude towards my life, it would not change anything. I think they knew it, but I always ensured them about my happiness with the current state of things when I visited them. I was very resistant for those days I was often thinking about the high school times. It was one of my most favorite pastimes. Really, if I would get that second chance, I would take it. Really? I think the sheer potential this scenario of me back in my days of high school had to me. It must have been obvious. I had regrets. I know I could have taken chances. I know I could have acted differently. Things. They would probably turn out differently. My life could have been different. Still, where those real regrets are was. I'm just a person who liked to dream and imagine too much. It didn't matter, I think. It was the beginning of May, the 4th of May when it happens. May most beautiful, a 
and happy dreams have turned into reality the 4th of May that day I was already going to sleep in fact I probably fell asleep 